This one is just a bright blue. Mm, that texture's weird. Yes, I use my knuckle. Hmm. Might have to play with that one and see if it's still good. It is drying out a bit, but they all dry out basically as soon as you open the bloody things. So, okay. Next, I am going to look at the. There's a bunch of loose pigment stuff in in here, so we're going to look at that, and then we'll go into the eyeshadows. I'm just going to rearrange a few things, put some things back in their containers, or back into containers. As usual, I'm filming this at night, so the light's kind of weird. Souls. This is from Mask. Um, this is Mud Cake, and it is a really dark chocolatey brown. It's actually really pretty. Ralapane. Um, and then I have, anybody who's watched my channel knows I have a few of these because couple, one of them is in a project of mine. Some of these are unopened because I have two of them. So when I bought these, these are the pure pigments from Maybelline Color Tattoo. When I bought these, um, I got them two for one. So I ha literally have two of them. <laughs> one of them I've opened and one of them I have not opened. So the first one that I have two of is uh, Buff and Tough, which is it's kind of like a neutral brownie kind of colour. It's probably a good transition colour, because um, I'm pretty sure that one's actually matte. It might have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it looks pretty matte. Um, and then I have Two of Improper Copper, the other one is actually in my stuff currently being used because it is in a project, um, but it's like a brown, I don't know why it's called Improper Copper because it's actually brown, um, which I think is weird, um, especially when compared against this one, which is Downtown Brown, and Downtown Brown is actually kind of a grey brown, but probably more copper than improper copper is, quite frankly. Um, I'll just grab improper copper so you can see what it looks like. So, this is improper copper, which is quite brown. Um, but, um, this isn't actually my full collection of eyeshadows, because as I said, some of them are being panned at the moment, so... Um, this one is Wild Gold, which obviously is a gold colour. Go bigger. Yeah, so I have two of all of those. Um, you know, if anybody wants one, just say, and I can, <laughs> I'll send them to you, because, I mean, I don't think I need two of them. I don't think I'm ever going to use them all, but anyway. Okay, so I have a pile, including a blue one, which is not here, because it's in my panning. Um, this is Flashback Silver. These are the L'Oreal Infallible Press Pigment. So if you haven't seen these, they're literally a pigment in a thing and you put the presser thing back into them and it keeps them in place. I wonder how many of my other pans one of these actually fits in for like um, repressing. So, yeah, that one's Flashback Silver. I also have this one, which is Permanent Khaki. They didn't spell it like khaki. They literally wrote khaki. I don't know why. Uh, a gold mine, which is a gold glitter. Uh, endless Chocolate. So chocolatey brown. Uh, emerald Lame, which actually has gold bits in it. Um, yeah, gold bits in it, so khaki and the emerald. They're quite different to each other. Uh, and uh, Eternal Black, which is a sparkly black. 
It's got silver in it. Uh, Sahara Treasure, which is kind of um, almost a bronzy kind of gold. It's like an old gold rather than gold gold. Uh, golden Mahogany, which is a reddish colour. And Purple Obsession, which is a darkish purple. And then I have Sapphire something or other. Sapphire Night, I think it is, which is a sapphire blue. Like really dark blue. So the other pigments I have are all from in here. Are all from Glamadol eyes. I'm panning one which is called Obscure, which is a plain skin toned brown. Um, there's several different collections here. I got these from Tamara. This one is Just Bitten, which is beautiful. Some of these are pigments and some of them are glitters. This one is Going Green. Most of these are vegan. Um, and they say on the bottom whether they're vegan and whether or not they're lip safe. This one is Nymphet, which is freaking gorgeous. Just oh, so pretty. Uh, Tokyo, which is a pale purple. It's actually got sparkles in it. It's kind of a weird zombie green colour. Um, Techno, which is a glitter. Um, I also have another one in my panning other than the obscure one, which I can't remember what it's called. I think it's aqua or something. It's a teal coloured um, pigment. Uh, this one is Hollywood. This is holographic. It's holographic glitter. Apparently this is lip safe, so that's interesting. And it actually tells you what size glitter it is. Size 4 hex. So there you go. Um, Her Revenge. Isn't that beautiful? All those girls out there who like red, orange, orangey reds on their eyes. That one's an awesome one. Calypso, which is a Teely green with purple or uh, fuchsia sparkles in it. The so pretty. Um, skin of a killer, which is actually white. It's a sparkly white, but it's still white. Uh, family secret is also a white. I don't know how it's different from. Hang on, I've never actually bothered to compare them. <laughs> Okay, so it's more cream. So this one here is Family Secret. It's slightly more cream than Skin of a Killer. Man, almost lost the lid. Uh, Dazzle Me, which is probably one of the least dazzling eyeshadows ever. What colour do you think it is? Gold, anyone? It's actually not a very nice gold. It's kind of like this khaki gold. Um, but still. Uh, then we have Stella. Which is this amazing, super duper, it's probably really hard to see. Super duper dark. Focus. Dark purple. Shimmer. It is friggin' gorgeous. Uh, Fiji Mermaid. Love this colour. Look at that. Just so beautiful. These would probably make great eyeliners if mixed with something like Duraline or whatever. Uh, Bearded Lady. Fiery 
glitter. This one is gorgeous. This is a glitter. It's just full on fiery glitter. It's so gorgeous. Uh, bare naked, which is exactly what it sounds like. It is just probably quite a good transition colour. It's a bit on the warm side for me. Obscure is quite a bit cooler. This is a premonition, which is a sort of greyed out purple with lots of shimmer and pinky shimmer to it. It's really nice. And we have a sparkler, which is really interesting. Rave, which is purple glitter. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. Um, and then we have a circus, which is another glitter. It's like Fire Eater, but it doesn't have the yellow in it. Um, let me just see if I can find. This one here is Fire Eater. You can see there is quite a difference to them. They're both from the same collection, I think. Oh no, one's not. One's from the regular line. Um, yeah. Funny, it's called Circuits, but it's not in the Circuits collection. Uh, this is Lexington which is another sparkly whitish colour. It's probably about halfway in between the other two. They're probably very similar. And lastly, for my pigments that are in these containers, I actually have another container that has pigments and glitters in it. Um, but it's kept in a different drawer. <laughs> this one is Black Ice, which is a black sparkly glitter. So that, I think I'm going to call it there for this video and then do the small eyeshadow palettes in the next one because this video is already at 17 minutes. So yeah, if you want to subscribe, click the button down below, click the little bell if you want to get notified of when I upload new videos, leave me a thumbs up if you like a makeup type videos and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video. See ya!